Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk about a really easy way to make eBooks with your students using Canva. It's great because Canva has all the templates already set up for you. So if you go to canva.com, create eBooks, and then you can just jump right in. You can go ahead and log into your account and then you can get forward, or you can just start creating an eBook and check it out and see how to create things and test it out for your students. So once you get into your Canva design area, you have your templates all set up for you. So on the left hand side, you can just scroll through. There's all different options. Students can pick and choose. Some are simple, some are more complicated. If they're going to create a book, they might want to start with something simple and then add into it. If you want something to look more like a newspaper or a magazine, they can choose that. I'm going to pick a really simple template just so you kind of have an idea of what it's going to look like. What's great about Canva is you have all different options. So if I want to swap out some colors, I can put that in right away. I can change out different themes if I want to. There's different elements I can add. So if students want to add some shapes in, or maybe their title page is going to be one way and the other pages will be something a little bit different, they can do so. So if I'm going to add some text right in, I can choose, maybe if I like this text, I can put that in as my title and I can type it in however I choose to. This might be my title page, we'll do title. And then I've got my title page set up for my ebook. I can go ahead and just add another page. It's gonna have the background that I chose before. If I wanna swap that out, I sure can. I can switch it to a plain or just back to white. And then maybe I wanna add some of those cool elements. So maybe if I've got a story I'm writing and I want a cool rocket sticker that I wanna put into there, I can do so. I can drop that right into my page and tell a story, which is great about eBooks is you can kinda of animate as you go. What's also really cool is when you're looking at one of your Canva pages and you wanna see, you can swap around and see what things look like. You can go back and forth if you want to, page one, page two, and then you can just add another page. Maybe this page is gonna be all text. So I'm gonna drop some text in here. I wanna pick, let's see, I'm gonna add some information. So I'm gonna type that in and I can stretch it and I can make that bigger, more to the story which is awesome, and you just type in. So students can be typing all day while they're creating their different pages to their story. They can add photos in there. Maybe they have photos they've uploaded or they just wanna add pictures in to their story. Maybe it's about a restaurant, they're gonna add food. You can pick and choose, students can do however they wanna create. It's an ebook, so they can create and do all the things that they'd like to as they are working. They can search as they want to. You can click animate, which is fun because that brings their pages to life. So not only do you have the stickers that are animated and you guys kind of saw those, but you also have the options of being able to see all the pages along the bottom. If I have my title page, I wanna see what animations might look like on my title page. It can come to life that way. I have a text page and then I also have like my sticker page. So you can kind of pick and choose what you wanna work on and how you want things to look, which is super fun. Then if you want to swap out, you can upload your own pictures and images if they have those chosen. And then they can also change their backgrounds. So all of these different ways students can create very easily in Canva, have these eBooks, share them with others. So once they're all done, everything's been edited. They've added all the pages to their story. It looks great. Make sure they're signed into their account and then they can choose to download it or share it with others. So this one has animations in it. So it does suggest it should be in more of a video format. But if I take those off, or if I just wanna do a standard PDF, it tells me that those video pieces won't be able to be added to a printed version, but it will be able to print and download that book. So that way students can keep the book that they'd like to keep, which is pretty cool. So they can definitely keep it that way. So try out Canva ebook and create some books with your students, have them create. There's so many different awesome ways they can do it. And it's really a lot of fun.